Yanish Mihailik, you are Oli Gunnar Solskjaer for the day. You are at the wheel. So what areas are you going to identify to bring some new signings in? I'm giving you three players that you can bring in that you think would give United a realistic chance to help them challenge Liverpool for the title this season. So let's start in defence. Who would you like to bring in? Uh, well, I mean... Uh... Everybody's talking about Upamecano, and I think he would be a great choice for just about any team uh, uh, as well. Now, I, I'm supposed to be realistic as well, so I don't know if that happens. But, you know, everybody forgets that there's another Frenchman, too young, you know, at, at, at Leipzig, who had a very difficult season last year. He's one of my favorites. And, I, you know, I tiptoe when I say these, you know, although I truly believe in this. Uh, Ibrahima Konate, who's his partner uh, uh, of Upamecano at, at Leipzig, I, I, I like him even slightly better than Upamecano. Uh, so, so if they can't get Upamecano because he's going to cost a lot of money and everybody seems to want him, you know, maybe they go for, for someone like Konate. You're probably going to ask me who I'm going to get in the midfield. And although he's not a midfielder, but can be one, uh, David uh, Alaba is free. And as we know, Karl Heinz Rummenigge has stated that, you know, they've done just about everything to keep him at Bayern Munich. They want to do it, but he's going to be a free agent, of course, and it's going to leave on a free. So uh, amongst all the other teams that want him, like Juventus and, and perhaps even Inter, uh, I think I think if I look at uh, Manchester United, they can use him as a center back. Of course, we've seen him can play left back, which is a position that, I, you know, it's still a bit iffy for Manchester United. And of course, he can play in the midfield, which he often does for Austria uh, when he plays at the international level. So see what I did, did there? I, I gave them a player that's absolutely free, that's, that's got tons of experience. He's, he's an absolute win winner because he's won everything at the club level. And he's going to a club that wants to return to the to their glory day. So there you have it. I've solved it. And it's not really all that expensive. <laughs> they got versatile and a leader as well. So will you raid the Bundesliga to maybe get a forward? Would you maybe look towards a Borussia Dortmund where there's a tall blonde striker that lots of people have got their eye on right now? Absolutely. And it's not Jaden Sancho. Although if they do get him, wouldn't be bad, even though his form has dipped uh, just a little bit. Perhaps he's disappointed that he's still there and hasn't gone to Manchester United. Talking, of course, about Jaden Sancho, but I would go for Erling Holland. You know, if you look at Holland, I think we all know by now the relationship uh, uh, that Juventus have with Mino Raiola, which is not great because of Paul Pogba. And, you know, it's easy to point towards that and say, well, that's not going to happen. Well, I don't buy into it. Agents are there to make money. Agents are there to forget about their comments, which, by the way, you know, he's walking that back a little bit with Paul Pogba as well. And I think, you know, I'm hoping that maybe the relationship that Erling Holland has got with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, not just because, of course, uh, they're countrymen, but, you know, he remembers them very well from Molde as well. A and let's be honest, it it's not an absolute must, because if you look at the front three or the players that Manchester United have, even recently, they certainly have a lot of talent there. But I think that that changes the entire equation. It changes the perception immediately for Manchester United. And let's not forget Manchester United, love attacking player, he's young, He's a generational player that would stay there forever. He's an attacking-minded player, of course. Uh, so I think it takes all the boxes because that's what United want. They want the excitement. They want the ent entertainment. They want the star value uh, to return to, for Manchester United to once again be amongst the best of the best. So I would not listen to the Mino Raiola stuff because uh, I think his job is to do what's best for the player. And if Manchester United give him an offer that he can't refuse... I can absolutely see Erling Haaland at Manchester United. You did actually bring up a Premier League player, though, if they weren't able to get their hands on an Erling Haaland, a player that's playing at Everton right now. Well, yes, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, not Erling Haaland, though. But, you know, that's just the rumours that are swirling a little bit. I mean, he's been... Yeah, I mean, it's the type of player that I think Manchester United could use... But then I would ask, do they have players that can do that job already at the same level? And my answer to that would be, yes, they do. Erling Holland, nobody's going to question. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I think there's going to be a pushback. And you think these three players that you did say, bearing in mind if it was Haaland, would be able to challenge Liverpool for the title? 
in time, I mean, those are not transfers that I think w will happen or could ever happen in January. Uh, uh, if you give, if you look at the environment right now, if you look at January transfer window, that's difficult in the best of times. Uh, um, but yes, I think if you get, if you get Holland, if you get Alaba, if you get Upame Upamecano or somebody like Konate or Koulibaly, let's say, if we went back to the defenders, I absolutely think that Manchester United would be able to challenge next season. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.